Shanghai, Aiha, is one of the four direct administered municipalities of the People's Republic of China, governed by the State Council. The city is located on the southern estuary of the Yangtze River, with the Wangpu River flowing through it. With a population of 24.28 million as of 2019, it is the most populous urban area in China and the most populous city proper in the world. Shanghai is a global center for finance, research, technology, manufacturing, and transportation, and the port of Shanghai is the world's busiest container port. Originally a fishing village and market town, Shanghai grew in importance in the 19th century due to both domestic and foreign trade and its favorable port location. The city was one of five treaty ports forced open to European trade after the First Opium War. The Shanghai International Settlement and the French Concession were subsequently established. The city then flourished, becoming a primary commercial and financial hub of Asia in the 1930s. During the Second Sino-Japanese War, the city was the site of the major battle of Shanghai. After the war, with the CPC takeover of mainland China in 1949, trade was limited to other socialist countries and the city's global influence declined. By the 1990s, economic reforms introduced by Deng Xiaoping a decade earlier resulted in an intense redevelopment of the city, especially the Pudong New Area, aiding the return of finance and foreign investment. The city has since re-emerged as a hub for international trade and finance. It is the home of the Shanghai Stock Exchange, one of the largest stock exchanges in the world by market capitalization and the Shanghai Free Trade Zone the first free trade zone in mainland China. As of 2020, Shanghai is classified as an Alpha Plus city by the Globalization and World Cities Research Network and ranked as having the third most competitive and largest financial center in the world behind New York City and London. It has the largest metro network of any city in the world, the second highest number of billionaires of any city in the world, the fifth largest scientific research output of any city in the world, and highly ranked educational institutions including four Project 985 universities, Fudan University, Shanghai Jiao Tong University, Tongji University, and East China Normal University. Shanghai has been described as the showpiece of the booming economy of China. Featuring several architectural styles such as Art Deco and Shikimen, the city is renowned for its Lujiazui skyline, museums and historic buildings including the City God Temple, Yu Garden, the China Pavilion and buildings along the Bund. Shanghai is also known for its sugary cuisine, distinctive local language and vibrant international flair. As an important international city, Shanghai hosts numerous national and international events every year, such as Shanghai Fashion Week, the Chinese Grand Prix and China Joy. In 2018, Shanghai hosted the first China International Import Expo the world's first import-themed national-level expo. Etymology the two Chinese characters in the city's name are Shang and Hai, together meaning, upon the sea. The earliest occurrence of this name dates from the 11th century Song Dynasty, when there was already a river confluence in a town with this name in the area. How the name should be understood has been disputed, but Chinese historians have concluded that during the Tang Dynasty, the area of modern-day Shanghai was under the sea level, so the land appeared to be literally, on the sea. Shanghai is officially abbreviated Hu in Chinese, a contraction of Hudu, a 4th or 5th century Jin name for the mouth of Suzhou Creek when it was the main conduit into the ocean. This character appears on all motor vehicle license plates issued in the municipality today. Alternative names. Shen or Shen Sheung was an early name originating from Lord Chunchen, a 3rd century BC nobleman and prime minister of the state of Chu, whose fief included modern Shanghai. Shanghai-based sports teams and newspapers often use Shen in their names, such as Shanghai Shenhua and Shen Bao. Hua Ting was another early name for Shanghai. In AD 751 during the Mid-Tang Dynasty, Wading County was established by Zhao Zhuzhen, the governor of Wu Commandary, at modern-day Songjiang, the first county-level administration within modern-day Shanghai. The first five-star hotel in the city was named after Wading. Mo Do a contemporary nickname for Shanghai, is widely known among the youth. 
The name was first mentioned in Shofu Muramatsu's 1924 novel motto, which portrayed Shanghai as a dichotomic city where both light and darkness existed. The city has various nicknames in English, including Pearl of the Orient and Paris of the East. This is similar to Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, which has also been nicknamed as Paris of the Orient due to Vietnam's historical French status. History Ancient history, the western part of modern-day Shanghai was inhabited 6,000 years ago. During the spring and autumn period, it belonged to the Kingdom of Wu, which was conquered by the Kingdom of Yu, which in turn was conquered by the Kingdom of Chu. During the Warring States period, Shanghai was part of the fief of Lord Chunshin of Chu, one of the four lords of the Warring States. He ordered the excavation of the Wangpu River. Its former or poetic name, the Chunshin River, gave Shanghai its nickname of Shen. Fishermen living in the Shanghai area then created a fish tool called the Hu, which lent its name to the outlet of Suzhou Creek north of the old city and became a common nickname and abbreviation for the city. Imperial History During the Tang and Song dynasties, Qinglong Town in modern Qingpu district was a major trading port. Established in 746, it developed into what historically called a giant town of the southeast, with 13 temples and 7 pagodas. M.I. Fu, a scholar and artist of the Song dynasty, served as its mayor. The port experienced thriving trade with provinces along the Yangtze and the Chinese coast, as well as with foreign countries such as Japan and Silla. By the end of the Song dynasty, the center of trading had moved downstream of the Wasong River to Shanghai. It was upgraded in status from a village to a market town in 1074, and in 1172, a second seawall was built to stabilize the ocean coastline, supplementing an earlier dike. From the Yuan dynasty in 1292 until Shanghai officially became a municipality in 1927, central Shanghai was administered as a county under Songjiang Prefecture, which had its seat in the present-day Songjiang district. Two important events helped promote Shanghai's developments in the Ming dynasty. A city wall was built for the first time in 1554 to protect the town from raids by Japanese pirates. It measured 10 meters high and 5 kilometers in circumference. A city god temple was built in 1602 during the Wanli reign. This honor was usually reserved for prefectural capitals and not normally given to a mere county seat such as Shanghai. Scholars have theorized that this likely reflected the town's economic importance, as opposed to its low political status. During the Qing Dynasty, Shanghai became one of the most important seaports in the Yangtze Delta region as a result of two important central government policy changes. In 1684, the Kangxi Emperor reversed the Ming Dynasty prohibition on ocean-going vessels, a ban that had been in force since 1525. And in 1732, the Qianlong Emperor moved the customs office for Jiangsu province from the prefectural capital of Songjiang to Shanghai and gave Shanghai exclusive control over customs collections for Jiangsu's foreign trade. As a result of these two critical decisions, Shanghai became the major trade port for all of the lower Yangtze region by 1735, despite still being at the lowest administrative level in the political hierarchy. Rise and Golden Age In the 19th century, international attention to Shanghai grew due to European recognition of its economic and trade potential at the Yangtze. During the First Opium War, British forces occupied the city. The war ended in 1842 with the Treaty of Nanking, which opened Shanghai as one of the five treaty ports for international trade. The Treaty of the Bogue, the Treaty of Wangia, and the Treaty of Wampoa forced Chinese concession to European and American desires for visitation and trade on Chinese soil. Britain, France, and the United States all established a presence outside the walled city of Shanghai, which remained under the direct administration of the Chinese. The Chinese-held old city of Shanghai fell to rebels from the Small Sword Society in 1853, but was recovered by the Qing government in February 1855. In 1854, the Shanghai Municipal Council was created to manage the foreign settlements. Between 1860 and 1862, the Taiping rebels twice attacked Shanghai and destroyed the city's eastern and southern suburbs, but failed to take the city. In 1863, the British settlement to the south of Suzhou Creek and the American settlement to the north joined in order to form the Shanghai International Settlement. The French opted out of the Shanghai Municipal Council and maintained its own concession to the south and southwest. The First Sino-Japanese War concluded with the 1895 Treaty of Shimonoseki, which elevated Japan to become another foreign power in Shanghai. 
Japan built the first factories in Shanghai, which was soon copied by other foreign powers. All this international activity gave Shanghai the nickname, the Great Athens of China. In 1914, the old city walls were dismantled because they blocked the city's expansion. In July 1921, the Communist Party of China was founded in the French concession. On 30 May 1925, the May 30 movement broke out when a worker in a Japanese-owned cotton mill was shot and killed by a Japanese foreman. Workers in the city then launched general strikes against imperialism, which became nationwide protests that gave rise to Chinese nationalism. The Golden Age of Shanghai began with its elevation to municipality on 7 July 1927. This new Chinese municipality covered an area of 494.69 kilometers, including the modern-day districts of Baoshan, Yangpu, Zhebei, Nanshi, and Pudong, but excluded the foreign concessions territories. Headed by a Chinese mayor and municipal council, the new city government's first task, the Greater Shanghai Plan, was to create a new city center in Zhongwen town of Yangpu district, outside the boundaries of the foreign concessions. The plan included a public museum, library, sports stadium, and city hall, which were partially constructed before being interrupted by the Japanese invasion. The city flourished, becoming a primary commercial and financial hub of the Asia-Pacific region in the 1930s. During the ensuing decades, citizens of many countries and all continents came to Shanghai to live and work. Those who stayed for long periods, some for generations, called themselves, Shanghailanders. In the 1920s and 1930s, almost 20,000 white Russians fled the newly established Soviet Union to reside in Shanghai. These Shanghai Russians constituted the second largest foreign community. By 1932, Shanghai had become the world's fifth largest city and home to 70,000 foreigners. In the 1930s, some 30,000 Ashkenazi Jewish refugees from Europe arrived in the city. Japanese Invasion On 28 January 1932, Japanese forces invaded Shanghai while the Chinese resisted. More than 10,000 shops and hundreds of factories and public buildings were destroyed, leaving Zhebei district ruined. About 18,000 civilians were either killed, injured, or declared missing. A ceasefire was brokered on 5 May. In 1937, the Battle of Shanghai resulted in the occupation of the Chinese-administered parts of Shanghai outside of the international settlement and the French concession. People who stayed in the occupied city suffered on a daily basis, experiencing hunger, oppression, or death. The foreign concessions were ultimately occupied by the Japanese on 8 December 1941 and remained occupied until Japan's surrender in 1945. Multiple war crimes were committed during that time. A side effect of the Japanese invasion of Shanghai was the Shanghai Ghetto. Japanese consul to Kanas, Lithuania, Shiuni Sugihara issued thousands of visas to Jewish refugees who were escaping the Nazis' final solution to the Jewish question. They traveled from Kedan, Lithuania across Russia by railroad to the Vladivostok from where they traveled by ship to Kobe, Japan. However, the Jewish refugees' stay in Kobe was short as the Japanese government transferred them to Shanghai by November 1941. Other Jewish refugees found haven in Shanghai, not through Sugihara, but came on ships from Italy. The refugees from Europe were interned into a cramped ghetto in the Hanko district, and after the Japanese invasion of Pearl Harbor, even the Iraqi Jews who had been living in Shanghai from before the outbreak of World War II were interned. Among the refugees in the Shanghai ghetto was the Mirror Yeshiva, including its students and faculty. On 3 September 1945, the Chinese army liberated the ghetto and most of the Jews left over the next few years. By 1957, there were only 100 Jews remaining in Shanghai. On the 27th of May 1949, the People's Liberation Army took control of Shanghai through the Shanghai Campaign. Under the New People's Republic of China, Shanghai was one of only three municipalities not merged into neighboring provinces. Most foreign firms moved their offices from Shanghai to Hong Kong, as part of a foreign divestment due to the PRC's victory. Modern History After the war, Shanghai's economy was restored. From 1949 to 1952, the city's agricultural and industrial output increased by 51.5% and 94.2%, respectively. There were 20 urban districts and 10 suburbs at the time. On 17 January 1958, Jieting, Baoshan, and Shanghai County in Jiangsu became part of Shanghai Municipality, which expanded to 863 kilometers. 
The following December, the land area of Shanghai was further expanded to 5,910 kilometers after more surrounding suburban areas in Jiangsu were added. Chongming, Jinshan, Qingpu, Fengxian, Xuansha, and Nanhui. In 1964, the city's administrative divisions were rearranged to 10 urban districts and 10 counties. As the industrial center of China with the most skilled industrial workers, Shanghai became a center for radical leftism during the 1950s and 1960s. The radical leftist Zhang Qing and her three allies, together the Gang of Four, were based in the city. During the Cultural Revolution, Shanghai's society was severely damaged, with 310,000 wrongful convictions involving more than 1 million people. About 11,500 people were unjustly persecuted to death. Yet, even during the most tumultuous times of the revolution, Shanghai was able to maintain economic production with positive annual growth rate. Since 1949, Shanghai has been a comparatively heavy contributor of tax revenue to the central government. In 1983, the city's contribution in tax revenue was greater than investment received in the past 33 years combined. Its importance to the fiscal well-being of the central government also denied it from economic liberalizations begun in 1978. In 1990, Deng Xiaoping finally permitted Shanghai to initiate economic reforms, which reintroduced foreign capital to the city and developed the Pudong district, resulting in the birth of Lujiazui. As of 2020, Shanghai is classified as an Alpha Plus city by the Globalization and World Cities Research Network, making it one of the world's top 10 major cities. Geography Shanghai is located on the Yangtze estuary of China's east coast, with the Yangtze River to the north and Hangzhou Bay to the south. The land is formed by the Yangtze's natural deposition and modern land reclamation projects. As such, it has sandy soil, and skyscrapers are to be built with deep concrete piles to avoid sinking into the soft ground. The provincial-level municipality of Shanghai administers both the estuary and many of its surrounding islands. It is roughly equidistant from Beijing and Guangzhou, bordering the East China Sea to the east, Zhejiang to the south, and Jiangsu to the west and north. The municipality's northernmost point is on Chongming Island, which is the second largest island in mainland China after its expansion during the 20th century. It does not administratively include an exclave of Jiangsu on northern Chongming or the two islands forming Shanghai's Yangshan port, which are parts of Zhejiang's Shanxi County. Shanghai is located on an alluvial plain. As such, the vast majority of its 6,340.5 km land area is flat, with an average elevation of 4 meters. The city's few hills, such as Xishan, lie to the southwest, and its highest point is the peak of Daginchen Island in Hangzhou Bay. Shanghai has many rivers, canals, streams, and lakes, and it is known for its rich water resources as part of the Lake Tai drainage basin. Downtown Shanghai is bisected by the Wangpu River, a man-made tributary of the Yangtze created by order of Lord Chunchen during the Warring States period. The historic center of the city was located on the west bank of the Wangpu, near the mouth of Suzhou Creek, connecting it with Lake Tai and the Grand Canal. The central financial district, Lujiazui, has been established on the east bank of the Wangpu. Along Shanghai's eastern shore, the destruction of local wetlands due to the construction of Pudong International Airport has been partially offset by the protection and expansion of a nearby shoal, Juduansha, as a nature preserve. Climate Shanghai has a humid subtropical climate, with an average annual temperature of 15.8 degrees Celsius for urban districts and 15.2 to 15.7 degrees Celsius for suburbs. The city experiences four distinct seasons. Winters are temperate to cold and damp. Northwesterly winds from Siberia can cause nighttime temperatures to drop below freezing. Each year, there are an average of 6.2 days with snowfall and 2.8 days with snow cover. Summers are hot and humid, and occasional downpours or freak thunderstorms can be expected. On average, 8.7 days exceed 35 degrees Celsius annually. In summer and the beginning of autumn, the city is susceptible to typhoons. The most pleasant seasons are generally spring, although changeable and often rainy, and autumn, which is usually sunny and dry. With monthly percent possible sunshine ranging from 34% in March to 54% in August, the city receives 1,895 hours of bright sunshine annually. 
Extremes since 1951 have ranged from minus 10.1 degrees Celsius on the 31st of January 1977 to 40.9 degrees Celsius on the 21st of July 2017 at a weather station in Zujawi. See or edit raw graph data. Cityscape. The Bund, located by the bank of the Wangpu River, is home to a row of early 20th century architecture, ranging in style from the neoclassical HSBC building to the Art Deco Sassoon House. Many areas in the former foreign concessions are also well preserved, the most notable being the French concession. Shanghai is also home to many architecturally distinctive and even eccentric buildings, including the Shanghai Museum, the Shanghai Grand Theater, the Shanghai Oriental Art Center, and the Oriental Pearl Tower. Despite rampant redevelopment, the old city still retains some traditional architecture and designs, such as the Yu Garden, an elaborate Jongan style garden. As a result of its construction boom during the 1920s and 1930s, Shanghai has among the most Art Deco buildings in the world. One of the most famous architects working in Shanghai was Laszlo Hudetz, a Hungarian Slovak who lived in the city between 1918 and 1947. His most notable Art Deco buildings include the Park Hotel, the Grand Cinema, and the Paramount. Other prominent architects who contributed to the Art Deco style are Clement Palmer and Arthur Turner, who together designed the Peace Hotel, the Metropole Hotel, and the Broadway Mansions, and Austrian architect C.H. Gonda, who designed the Capitol Theater. The Bund has been revitalized several times. The first was in 1986, with a new promenade by the Dutch architect Paulus Snorin. The second was before the 2010 Expo, which includes restoration of the century-old Waibaidu Bridge and reconfiguration of traffic flow. One distinctive cultural element is the Shikuman residence, typically two- or three-story gray brick houses with the front yard protected by a heavy wooden door in a stylistic stone arch. Each residence is connected and arranged in straight alleys, known as longtang. The house is similar to Western-style terrace houses or townhouses, but distinguishes by the tall, heavy brick wall and archway in front of each house. The Shikumen is a cultural blend of elements found in Western architecture with traditional Jong'an Chinese architecture and social behavior. Like almost all traditional Chinese dwellings, it has a courtyard, which reduces outside noise. Vegetation can be grown in the courtyard, and it can also allow for sunlight and ventilation to the rooms. Some of Shanghai's buildings feature Soviet neoclassical architecture or Stalinist architecture, though the city has fewer such structures than Beijing. These buildings were mostly erected between the founding of the People's Republic in 1949 and the Sino-Soviet split in the late 1960s. During this time period, large numbers of Soviet experts, including architects, poured into China to aid the country in the construction of a communist state. An example of Soviet neoclassical architecture in Shanghai is the modern-day Shanghai Exhibition Center. Shanghai, Lujiazui in particular, has numerous skyscrapers, making it the fifth city in the world with the most skyscrapers. Among the most prominent examples are the 421 meters high Jin Mao Tower, the 492 meters high Shanghai World Financial Center, and the 632 meters high Shanghai Tower, which is the tallest building in China and the second tallest in the world. Completed in 2015, the tower takes the form of nine twisted sections stacked atop each other, totaling 128 floors. It is featured in its double skin facade design, which eliminates the need for either layer to be opaque for reflectivity as the double layer structure has already reduced the heat absorption. The futuristic-looking Oriental Pearl Tower, at 468 meters, is located nearby at the northern tip of Lujiazui. Skyscrapers outside of Lujiazui include the White Magnolia Plaza in Hongkou, the Shimao International Plaza in Wangpu, and the Shanghai Wheelock Square in Jing'an. Politics. Structure. Like virtually all governing institutions in mainland China, Shanghai has a parallel party government system, in which the party committee secretary, officially termed the Communist Party of China Shanghai Municipal Committee Secretary, outranks the mayor. The party's committee acts as the top policy formulation body, and is typically composed of 12 members. Political power in Shanghai has frequently been a stepping stone to higher positions in the central government. Since Zhang Zemin became the General Secretary of the Communist Party of China in June 1989, all former Shanghai Party secretaries but one were elevated to the Politburo Standing Committee, the de facto highest decision-making body in China, including Zhang himself, Zhu Rongji, Wu Banguo, Huang Zhu, Xi Jinping, 
Yu Zhengsheng, and Han Zheng. Zheng Qinghong, a former deputy party secretary of Shanghai, also rose to the Politburo Standing Committee and became the vice president and an influential power broker. The only exception is Chen Liangyu, who was fired in 2006 and later convicted of corruption. Officials with ties to the Shanghai administration collectively form a powerful faction in the central government known as the Shanghai Clique, which has often been viewed to compete against the rival Youth League faction over personnel appointments and policy decisions. However, Xi Jinping, successor to Hu Jintao as general secretary and president, was largely an independent leader and took anti-corruption campaigns on both factions. Administrative Divisions Shanghai is one of the four municipalities under the direct administration of the Government of the People's Republic of China, and is divided into 16 county-level districts. Although every district has its own urban core, the city hall and major administrative units are located in Wangpu District, which also serves as a commercial area, including the famous Nanjing Road. Other major commercial areas include Zintiandi and Waihai Road in Wangpu District, and Zhujiawei in Zui District. Many universities in Shanghai are located in residential areas in Yangpu District and Pudo District. Seven of the districts govern Puxi, the older part of urban Shanghai on the west bank of the Wangpu River. These seven districts are collectively referred to as Shanghai proper or the core city, which comprise Wangpu, Zui, Chongning, Jing'an, Pudo, Hanko, and Yangpu. Pudong, the newer part of urban and suburban Shanghai on the east bank of the Wangpu River, is governed by Pudong New Area. Seven of the districts govern suburbs, satellite towns, and rural areas farther away from the urban core. Baoshan, Minhang, Jiading, Jinshan, Songjiang, Qingpu, and Fengxian. Chongming District comprises the islands of Chongxing and Hangsha and most, but not all, of Chongming Island. The former district of Nanhui was absorbed into Pudong District in 2009. In 2011, Luan District merged with Wangpu District. As of 2015, these county-level divisions are further divided into the following 210 township-level divisions, 109 towns, 2 townships, and 99 subdistricts. Those are in turn divided into the following village-level divisions, 3,661 neighborhood committees and 1,704 village committees. Economy Shanghai has been described as the showpiece of the booming economy of China. The city is a global center for finance and innovation, and a national center for commerce, trade, and transportation, with the world's busiest container port, the Port of Shanghai. As of 2019, Shanghai had a GDP of CN 3.82 trillion yen that makes up 3.85% of China's GDP, and a GDP per capita of CN 157,138 yen. Shanghai's six largest industries, retail, finance, it, real estate, machine manufacturing, and automotive manufacturing, comprise about half the city's GDP. In 2019, the average annual disposable income of Shanghai's residents was CN 69,442 yen per capita, making it one of the wealthiest cities in China, but also the most expensive city in mainland China to live in according to a 2017 study by the Economist Intelligence Unit. As of March 2021, Shanghai has the world's second highest number of billionaires of any city in the world after Beijing. Shanghai's nominal GDP is projected to reach 1.3 trillion United States dollars in 2035, making it one of the world's top five major cities in terms of GRP according to a study by Oxford Economics. Shanghai was the largest and most prosperous city in East Asia during the 1930s, and its rapid redevelopment began in the 1990s. In the last two decades, Shanghai has been one of the fastest developing cities in the world. It has recorded double-digit GDP growth in almost every year between 1992 and 2008, before the financial crisis of 2007-08. Finance Shanghai is a global financial center, ranking third in the 28th edition of the Global Financial Centers Index, published in September 2020 by Xi Yen and China Development Institute. As of 2019, the Shanghai Stock Exchange had a market capitalization of 4.02 trillion United States dollars, making it the largest stock exchange in China and the fourth largest stock exchange in the world. In 2009, the trading volume of six key commodities, including rubber, copper, and zinc, on the Shanghai Futures Exchange all ranked first globally. By the end of 2017, 
Shanghai had 1,491 financial institutions, of which 251 were foreign invested. In September 2013 with the backing of Chinese Premier Li Keqiang, the city launched the China Pilot Free Trade Zone, the first free trade zone in mainland China. The zone introduced a number of pilot reforms designed to incentivize foreign investment. In April 2014, the banker reported that Shanghai has attracted the highest volumes of financial sector foreign direct investment in the Asia-Pacific region in the 12 months to the end of January 2014. In August 2014, FDI magazine named Shanghai the Chinese province of the future 2014-15, due to particularly impressive performances in the business friendliness and connectivity categories, as well as placing second in the economic potential and human capital and lifestyle categories. Manufacturing. As one of the main industrial centers of China, Shanghai plays a key role in domestic manufacturing and heavy industry. Several industrial zones, including Shanghai Hongqiao Economic and Technological Development Zone, Jinchao Export Economic Processing Zone, Minhang Economic and Technological Development Zone, and Shanghai Kaohaijing High Tech Development Zone, are backbones of Shanghai's secondary sector. Shanghai is home to China's largest steelmaker Bao Steel Group, China's largest shipbuilding base Hudong Zhonghua Shipbuilding Group, and one of China's oldest shipbuilders, the Jiangnan Shipyard. Auto manufacturing is another important industry. The Shanghai-based SAIC Motor is one of the three largest automotive corporations in China, and has strategic partnerships with Volkswagen and General Motors. Kobayashi Pharmaceutical, Mondelez International, Danone, PepsiCo, Nongshim, Unicharm, Cow Corporation, Ezeki Glico, Meiji Holdings, Unilever, Bear, Victoria's Secret, Taisho Pharmaceutical, Estee Lauder Companies, Revlon, GlaxoSmithKline, L'Oreal, The Walt Disney Company, Disney Parks, Experiences and Products, SAIC Motor, SAIC GM, SAIC Volkswagen, Starbucks, Starbucks Reserve, Tourism. Tourism is a major industry of Shanghai. In 2017, the number of domestic tourists increased by 7.5% to 318 million, while the number of overseas tourists increased by 2.2% to 8.73 million. As of 2019, the city had 71 five-star hotels, 61 four-star hotels, 1,758 travel agencies, 113 rated tourist attractions, and 34 red tourist attractions. The conference and meeting sector is also growing. According to the International Congress and Convention Association, Shanghai hosted 82 international meetings in 2018, a 34% increase from 61 in 2017. Free Trade Zone Shanghai is home to China Pilot Free Trade Zone, the first free trade zone in mainland China. As of October 2019, it is also the second largest free trade zone in mainland China in terms of land area by covering an area of 240.22 kilometers and integrating four existing bonded zones. Waigaochao Free Trade Zone, Waigaochao Free Trade Logistics Park, Yangshan Free Trade Port Area, and Pudong Airport Comprehensive Free Trade Zone. Several preferential policies have been implemented to attract foreign investment in various industries to the zone. Because the zone is not technically considered Chinese territory for tax purposes, commodities entering the zone are exempt from duty and customs clearance. Demographics As of 2019, Shanghai had a total population of 24,281,400, including 14,504,300 hukou holders. According to the 2010 National Census, 89.3% of Shanghai's population live in urban areas, and 10.7% live in rural areas. Based on the population of its total administrative area, Shanghai is the second largest of the four municipalities of China, behind Chongqing, but is generally considered the largest Chinese city because the urban population of Chongqing is much smaller. According to the OECD, Shanghai's metropolitan area has an estimated population of 34 million. According to the Shanghai Municipal Statistics Bureau, about 157,900 residents in Shanghai are foreigners, including 28,900 Japanese, 21,900 Americans and 20,800 Koreans. The actual number of foreign citizens in the city is probably much higher. Shanghai is also a domestic immigration city, 40.3% of the city's residents are from other regions of China. Shanghai has a life expectancy of 83.6 years for the city's registered population, 
the highest life expectancy of all cities in mainland China. This has also caused the city to experience population aging. In 2017, 33.1% of the city's registered population was aged 60 or above. In 2017, the Chinese government implemented population controls for Shanghai, resulting in a population decline of 10,000 people by the end of the year. Religion Due to its cosmopolitan history, Shanghai has a blend of religious heritage. Religious buildings and institutions are scattered around the city. According to a 2012 survey, only 13.1% of the city's population belongs to organized religions, including Buddhists with 10.4%, Protestants with 1.9%, Catholics with 0.7%, and other faiths with 0.1% while the remaining 86.9% of the population could be either atheists or involved in worship of nature deities and ancestors or folk religious sects. Buddhism, in its Chinese varieties, has had a presence in Shanghai since the Three Kingdoms period, during which the Longhua Temple, the largest temple in Shanghai, and the Jing'an Temple were founded. Another significant temple is the Jade Buddha Temple, which was named after a large statue of Buddha carved out of jade in the temple. As of 2014, Buddhism in Shanghai had 114 temples, 1,182 clerical staff, and 453,300 registered followers. The religion also has its own college, the Shanghai Buddhist College, and its own press, Shanghai Buddhological Press. Catholicism was brought into Shanghai in 1608 by Italian missionary Lazzaro Catania. The Apostolic Vicariate of Shanghai was erected in 1933, and was further elevated to the Diocese of Shanghai in 1946. Notable Catholic sites include the St. Ignatius Cathedral in Zhujiaoui, the largest Catholic church in the city, the St. Francis Xavier Church, and the Xishan Basilica. Other forms of Christianity in Shanghai include Eastern Orthodox minorities and, since 1996, registered Christian Protestant churches. Although currently making up a fraction of the religious population in Shanghai, Jewish people have played an influential role in the city's history. After the Treaty of Nanking ended the First Opium War in 1842, the city was opened up to Western populations and merchants traveled to Shanghai for its rich business potential, including many prominent Jewish families. The Sassoons amassed great wealth in the opium and textile trades, cementing their status by funding many of the buildings that have become iconic in Shanghai's skyline, such as the Cathay Hotel in 1929. The Hardoons were another prominent Baghdadi Jewish family that used their business success to define Shanghai in the 20th century. The head of the family Silas Hardoon, who was one of the richest people in the world during the 1800s, financed Nanjing Road, which then housed department stores in the international settlement but now is one of the busiest shopping centers in the world. During World War II, thousands of Jews emigrated to Shanghai in an effort to flee Nazi Germany. They lived in a designated area called the Shanghai Ghetto and formed a community centered on the Ohel Moishi Synagogue, which is now the Shanghai Jewish Refugees Museum. In 1939, Horace Kadori, the head of the powerful philanthropic Sephardic Jewish family in Shanghai, founded the Shanghai Jewish Youth Association to support Jewish refugees through English education so they would be prepared to emigrate from Shanghai when the time came. Islam came into Shanghai during the Yuan Dynasty. The city's first mosque, Songjiang Mosque, was built during the Zhejiang era under Emperor Haizong. Shanghai's Muslim population increased in the 19th and early 20th centuries, during which time many mosques, including the Shoutaoyuan Mosque, the Huxi Mosque, and the Pudong Mosque, were built. The Shanghai Islamic Association is located in the Shoutaoyuan Mosque in Wangpu. Shanghai has several folk religious temples, including the City God Temple at the heart of the Old City, the Daijing Zhe Pavilion dedicated to the Three Kingdoms General Guan Yu, the Confucian Temple of Shanghai, and a major Taoist center Shanghai White Cloud Temple where the Shanghai Taoist Association locates. Language The vernacular language spoken in the city is Shanghainese, a dialect of the Taihu Wu subgroup of the Wu Chinese family. This is different from the official Chinese dialect, Mandarin, which is mutually unintelligible with Wu Chinese. Modern Shanghainese is based on other dialects of Taihu Wu, Suzhounese, Ningbanese, and the local dialect of Songjiang Prefecture. Prior to its expansion, the language spoken in Shanghai was subordinate to those spoken around Jiaxing and later Suzhou, and was known as the local tongue, which is now being used in suburbs only. 
In the late 19th century, downtown Shanghainese appeared, undergoing rapid changes and quickly replacing Sujonese as the prestige dialect of the Yangtze River Delta region. At the time, most of the city's residents were immigrants from the two adjacent provinces, Jiangsu and Zhejiang, so Shanghainese was mostly a hybrid between southern Jiangsu and Ningbo dialects. After 1949, Patonghua has also had a great impact on Shanghainese as a result of being rigorously promoted by the government. Since the 1990s, many migrants outside of the Wu-speaking region have come to Shanghai for education and jobs. They often cannot speak the local language and therefore use Patonghua as a lingua franca. Because Patonghua and English were more favored, Shanghainese began to decline, and fluency among young speakers weakened. In recent years, there have been movements within the city to promote the local language and protect it from fading out. Education and Research Shanghai is an international center of research and development and is ranked fifth globally and second in the whole Asia and the Pacific by scientific research outputs, as tracked by the Nature Index. It is also a major center of higher education in China. By the end of 2019, Shanghai had 64 universities and colleges, 929 secondary schools, 698 primary schools, and 31 special schools. A number of China's most prestigious universities entering the global university rankings are based in Shanghai, including Fudan University, Shanghai Jiao Tong University, Tongji University, East China Normal University, Shanghai University, East China University of Science and Technology, Donghua University, Shanghai University of Finance and Economics, and Shanghai International Studies University. These universities were selected as 985 universities, or 211 universities, by the Chinese government in order to build world-class universities. The city is a seat of two members of the C9 League, an alliance of elite Chinese universities offering comprehensive and leading education, and these two universities are ranked in the global top 100 research comprehensive universities according to the most influential university rankings in the world such as QS rankings, Shanghai rankings, and Times Higher Education rankings. Fudan University established a joint EMBA program with Washington University in St. Louis in 2002 which has since consistently been ranked as one of the best in the world. The city government's education agency is the Shanghai Municipal Education Commission. The city has many Chinese foreign joint education institutes, such as the Shanghai University University of Technology Sydney Business School since 1994, the University of Michigan Shanghai Jiao Tong University Joint Institute since 2006, and New York University Shanghai, the first China-US joint venture university, since 2012. In 2013, the Shanghai Municipality and the Chinese Academy of Sciences founded the Shanghai Tech University in the Zhongzhong High Tech Park in Pudong. Shanghai is also home to the Kadri School China Executive Leadership Academy in Pudong and the China Europe International Business School. In Shanghai, the nine years of compulsory education, including five years of primary education and four years of junior secondary education, are free, with a gross enrollment ratio of over 99.9%. The city's compulsory education system is among the best in the world. In 2009 and 2012, 15-year-old students from Shanghai ranked first in every subject in the program for International Student Assessment, a worldwide study of academic performance conducted by the OECD. The consecutive three-year senior secondary education is priced and uses the senior high school entrance examination as a selection process, with a gross enrollment ratio of 98%. Among all senior high schools, the four with the best teaching quality, Shanghai High School, number two high school attached to East China Normal University, high school affiliated to Fudan University, and high school affiliated to Shanghai Jiao Tong University, are termed the four schools of Shanghai. As of October 2019, the city's national college entrance examination is structured under the 3 plus 3 system in which all general senior high school students study three compulsory subjects and three subjects chosen from six options. Transportation Public transportation Shanghai has an extensive public transportation system comprising metros, buses, ferries, and taxis, all of which can be accessed using a Shanghai public transport card. Shanghai's rapid transit system, the Shanghai Metro, incorporates both subway and light metro lines and extends to every core urban district as well as neighboring suburban districts. As of 2019, there are 17 metro lines, 
415 stations, and 704.91 kilometers of lines in operation, making it the longest network in the world. On the 8th of March 2019, it set the city's daily metro ridership record with 13.3 million. The average fare ranges from CN3 yen to CN9, depending on the travel distance. Opened in 2004, the Shanghai Maglev train is the first and the fastest commercial high-speed maglev in the world, with a maximum operation speed of 430 km per hour. The train can complete the 30-kilometer journey between Longyang Road Station and Pudong International Airport in 7 minutes 20 seconds, comparing to 32 minutes by Metro Line 2 and 30 minutes by car. A one-way ticket costs CN50, or CN40 yen for those with airline tickets or public transportation cards. A round-trip ticket costs CN80, and VIP tickets cost double the standard fare. With the first tramline been in service in 1908, Trams were once popular in Shanghai in the early 20th century. By 1925, there were 328 tramcars and 14 routes operated by Chinese, French, and British companies collaboratively, all of which were nationalized after the PRC's victory in 1949. Since the 1960s, many tram lines were either dismantled or replaced by trolleybus or motorbus lines. The last tram line was demolished in 1975. Shanghai reintroduced trams in 2010, as a modern rubber tire translar system in Zhangjiang area of East Shanghai is Zhangjiang Tram. In 2018, the steel-wheeled Songjiang Tram started operating in Songjiang District. Additional tram lines are under planning in Hongqiao Subdistrict and Jiading District as of 2019. Shanghai also has the world's most extensive bus network, including the world's oldest continuously operating trolleybus system, with 1,575 lines covering a total length of 8,997 kilometers by 2019. The system is operated by multiple companies. Bus fares generally cost CN2. As of 2019, a total of 40,000 taxis were in operation in Shanghai. The base fare for taxis is CN14, which covers the first 3 kilometers and includes a CN1 fuel surcharge. The base fare is CN18 yen between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Each additional kilometer costs CN2 yen and 50 sen, or CN3 yen and 30 sen between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Taxi cabs and Didi play major roles in urban transportation and Didi is often cheaper than taxis. Roads and Expressways Shanghai is a major hub of China's expressway network. Many national expressways pass through or end in Shanghai, including Jinggu Expressway, Shenhai Expressway, Hushan Expressway, Huyu Expressway, Hukan Expressway, and Shanghai Ring Expressway. There are also numerous municipal expressways prefixed with the letter S as of 2019. Shanghai has a total of 12 bridges and 14 tunnels crossing the Wangpu River. The Shanghai Yangtze River Bridge is the city's only bridge tunnel complex across Yangtze River. The expressway network within the city center consists of north-south elevated road, Yan'an Elevated Road, and Inner Ring Road. Other ring roads in Shanghai include Middle Ring Road, Outer Ring Expressway, and Shanghai Ring Expressway. Bicycle lanes are common in Shanghai, separating non-motorized traffic from car traffic on most surface streets. However, on some main roads, including all expressways, bicycles and motorcycles are banned. In recent years, cycling has seen a resurgence in popularity due to the emergence of a large number of dockless app-based bicycle sharing systems, such as Mobike, BlueGoGo, and OFO. As of December 2018, bicycle sharing systems had an average of 1.15 million daily riders within the city. Private car ownership in Shanghai is rapidly increasing. In 2019, there were 3.40 million private cars in the city a 12.5% increase from 2018. New private cars cannot be driven without a license plate, which are sold in monthly license plate auctions. Around 9,500 license plates are auctioned each month, and the average price is about CN 89,600 yen in 2019. According to the city's vehicle regulations introduced in June 2016, only locally registered residents and those who have paid social insurance or individual income taxes for over three years are eligible to be in the auction. The purpose of this policy is to limit the growth of automobile traffic and alleviate congestion. Railways Shanghai has four major railway stations. Shanghai Railway Station, Shanghai South Railway Station, Shanghai West Railway Station, and Shanghai Hongqiao Railway Station. 
All are connected to the metro network and serve as hubs in the railway network of China. Built in 1876, the Wusung Railway was the first railway in Shanghai and the first railway in operation in China by 1909. Shanghai Nanjing Railway and Shanghai Hangzhou Railway were in service. As of October 2019, the two railways have been integrated into two main railways in China. Beijing Shanghai Railway and Shanghai Kunming Railway, respectively. Shanghai has three high-speed railways, Beijing Shanghai HSR, Shanghai Nanjing Intercity Railway, and Shanghai Kunming HSR. Two HSRs are under construction. Shanghai Nantong Railway and Shanghai Suzhou Huzhou HSR. Shanghai also has four commuter railways, Pudong Railway and Jinshan Railway operated by China Railway, and Line 16 and Line 17 operated by Shanghai Metro. As of October 2019, three additional lines, Chongming Line, Jiamen Line and Shanghai Airport Link, are under construction. Air and Sea Shanghai is one of the largest air transportation hubs in Asia. The city has two commercial airports, Shanghai Pudong International Airport and Shanghai Hongqiao International Airport. Pudong International Airport is the primary international airport, while Hongqiao International Airport mainly operates domestic flights with limited short-haul international flights. In 2018, Pudong International Airport served 74.0 million passengers and handled 3.8 million tons of cargo making it the ninth busiest airport by passenger volume and third busiest airport by cargo volume. The same year, Hongqiao International Airport served 43.6 million passengers, making it the 19th busiest airport by passenger volume. Since its opening, the port of Shanghai has rapidly grown to become the largest port in China. Yangshan Port was built in 2005 because the river was unsuitable for docking large container ships. The port is connected with the mainland through the 32-kilometer-long Donghai Bridge. Although the port is run by the Shanghai International Port Group under the government of Shanghai, it administratively belongs to Shanxi County, Zhejiang. Overtaking the port of Singapore in 2010, the port of Shanghai has become world's busiest container port with an annual TEU transportation of 42 million in 2018. Besides cargo, the port of Shanghai handled 259 cruises and 1.89 million passengers in 2019. Shanghai is part of the 21st century maritime Silk Road that runs from the Chinese coast to the south via the southern tip of India to Mombasa, from there to the Mediterranean, there to the upper Adriatic region to the northern Italian hub of Trieste with its rail connections to Central and the Eastern Europe. Culture the culture of Shanghai was formed by a combination of the nearby Wuyue culture and the East meets West, Haipai culture. Wuyue culture's influence is manifested in Shanghainese language, which comprises dialectal elements from nearby Jiaxing, Suzhou, and Ningbo, and Shanghai cuisine, which was influenced by Jiangsu cuisine and Zhejiang cuisine. Haipai culture emerged after Shanghai became a prosperous port in the early 20th century, with numerous foreigners from Europe, America, Japan, and India moving into the city. The culture fuses elements of Western cultures with the local Wuyue culture, and its influence extends to the city's literature, fashion, architecture, music, and cuisine. The term Haipai, originally referring to a painting school in Shanghai, was coined by a group of Beijing writers in 1920 to criticize some Shanghai scholars for admiring capitalism and Western culture. In the early 21st century, Shanghai has been recognized as a new influence and inspiration for cyberpunk culture. Futuristic structures, such as the Oriental Pearl Tower and the neon-illuminated Yan'an Elevated Road, are examples that have boosted Shanghai's cyberpunk image. Museums Cultural curation in Shanghai has seen significant growth since 2013, with several new museums having been opened in the city. This is in part due to the city's 2018 development plans, which aim to make Shanghai an excellent global city. As such, Shanghai has several museums of regional and national importance. The Shanghai Museum has one of the largest collections of Chinese artifacts in the world, including a large collection of ancient Chinese bronzes and ceramics. The China Art Museum, located in the former China Pavilion of Expo 2010, is one of the largest museums in Asia and displays an animated replica of the 12th century painting along the river during the Qingming Festival. The Shanghai Natural History Museum and the Shanghai Science and Technology Museum are notable natural history and science museums. 
In addition, there are numerous smaller, specialist museums housed in important archaeological and historical sites, such as the Songs Museum, the Museum of the First National Congress of the Chinese Communist Party, the former site of Provisional Government of the Republic of Korea, the Shanghai Jewish Refugees Museum, and the Shanghai Post Office Museum. Cuisine Benbang cuisine is cooking style that originated in the 1600s, with influences from surrounding provinces. It emphasizes the use of condiments while retaining the original flavors of the raw ingredients. Sugar is an important ingredient in benbang cuisine, especially when used in combination with soy sauce. Signature dishes of benbang cuisine include xiaolongbao, red braised pork belly, and Shanghai hairy crab. Hai pai cuisine, on the other hand, is a Western-influenced cooking style that originated in Shanghai. It absorbed elements from French, British, Russian, German, and Italian cuisines and adapted them to suit the local taste according to the features of local ingredients. Famous dishes of Hai Pai cuisine include Shanghai-style borscht, crispy pork cutlets, and Shanghai salad derived from Olivier salad. Both Benbang and Hai Pai cuisine make use of a variety of seafood, including freshwater fish, shrimps, and crabs. Arts The Songjong School, containing the Wading School founded by Ji Yu Zhengyi, was a small painting school in Shanghai during the Ming and Qing dynasties. It was represented by Dong Qichong. The school was considered an expansion of the Wu School in Suzhou, the cultural center of the Jiangnan region at the time. In the mid-19th century, the Shanghai School movement commenced, focusing less on the symbolism emphasized by the literati style but more on the visual content of painting through the use of bright colors. Secular objects like flowers and birds were often selected as themes, Western art was introduced to Shanghai in 1847 by Spanish missionary Joannes Ferrer, and the city's first Western atelier was established in 1864 inside the Tushanwen Orphanage. During the Republic of China, many famous artists including Zhang Daqin, Lu Haisu, Xu Beihong, Feng Zikai, and Yan Wenlang settled in Shanghai, allowing it to gradually become the art center of China. Various art forms, including photography, wood carving, sculpture, comics, and Lianwanhua, thrive. San Mao was created to dramatize the chaos created by the Second Sino-Japanese War. Today, the most comprehensive art and cultural facility in Shanghai is the China Art Museum. In addition, the Chinese Painting Academy features traditional Chinese painting, while the power station of art displays contemporary art. The city also has many art galleries, many of which are located in the M50 Art District in Tianjifang. First held in 1996, the Shanghai Biennale has become an important place for Chinese and foreign arts to interact. Traditional Chinese opera became a popular source of public entertainment in the late 19th century. In the early 20th century, monologue and burlesque in Shanghainese appeared, absorbing elements from traditional dramas. The Great World opened in 1912 and was a significant stage at the time. In the 1920s, Pingtan expanded from Suzhou to Shanghai. Pingtan art developed rapidly to 103 programs every day by the 1930s because of the abundant commercial radio stations in the city. Around the same time, a Shanghai-style Beijing opera was formed. Led by Zhou Xinfang and Gai Jiaoshan, it attracted many Zeke masters, like Mei Lanfang, to the city. A small troupe from Shangxian also began to promote Yu opera on the Shanghainese stage. A unique style of opera, Shanghai opera, was formed when local folk songs were fused with modern operas. As of 2012, prominent troupes in Shanghai include Shanghai Jingju Theatre Company, Shanghai Kunchu Opera Troupe, Shanghai Yu Opera House, and Shanghai Huju Opera House. Drama appeared in missionary schools in Shanghai in the late 19th century. At the time, it was mainly performed in English. Scandals in Officialdom, staged in 1899, was one of the earliest recorded plays. In 1907, Uncle Tom's Cabin, or, Life Among the Lowly was performed at the Lyceum Theater. After the New Culture Movement, drama became a popular way for students and intellectuals to express their views. The city has several major institutes of theater training, including the Shanghai Conservatory of Music, the Shanghai Dramatic Arts Center, the Shanghai Opera House, and the Shanghai Theater Academy. Notable theaters in Shanghai include the Shanghai Grand Theater, the Oriental Art Center, and the People's Theater. Shanghai is considered to be the birthplace of Chinese cinema. China's first short film, The Difficult Couple, and the country's first fictional feature film, 
and Orphan Rescues His Grandfather were both produced in Shanghai. Shanghai's film industry grew during the early 1930s, generating stars such as Hu Dai, Ruan Lingyu, Zhou Zan, Jin Yan, and Zhao Dan. Another film star, Zhang Qing, went on to become Madame Mao Zedong. The exile of Shanghainese filmmakers and actors as a result of the Second Sino-Japanese War and the Communist Revolution contributed enormously to the development of the Hong Kong film industry. The movie In the Mood for Love directed by Wang Kar Wai, a Shanghai native, depicts a slice of the displaced Shanghainese community in Hong Kong and the nostalgia for that era, featuring 1940s music by Zhou Zan. Fashion Since 2001, Shanghai has held its own fashion week called Shanghai Fashion Week twice every year in April and October. The main venue is in Fuxing Park, and the opening and closing ceremonies are held in the Shanghai Fashion Center. The April session is also part of the one-month Shanghai International Fashion Culture Festival. Shanghai Fashion Week is considered to be an event of national significance featuring both international and Chinese designers. The international presence has included many promising young British fashion designers. The event is hosted by the Shanghai Municipal Government and supported by the People's Republic Ministry of Commerce. Sports Shanghai is home to several soccer teams, including two in the Chinese Super League, Shanghai Shenhua and Shanghai Port. China's top-tier basketball team, the Shanghai Sharks of the Chinese Basketball Association, developed Yao Ming before he entered the NBA. Shanghai's baseball team, the Shanghai Golden Eagles, plays in the China Baseball League. The Shanghai Cricket Club dates back to 1858 when the first recorded cricket match was played between a team of British naval officers and a Shanghai 11. Following a 45-year dormancy after the founding of the PRC in 1949, the club was re-established in 1994 by expatriates living in the city and has since grown to over 300 members. The Shanghai cricket team played various international matches between 1866 and 1948. With cricket in the rest of China almost non-existent, for that period they were the de facto China national cricket team. Shanghai is home to many prominent Chinese professional athletes, such as basketball player Yao Ming, 110-meter hurdler Lu Shang, table tennis player Wang Likin, and badminton player Wang Yihan. Shanghai is the host of several international sports events. Since 2004, it has hosted the Chinese Grand Prix, a round of the Formula One World Championship. The race is staged annually at the Shanghai International Circuit. It hosted the 1000th Formula One race on 14 April 2019. In 2010, Shanghai became the host city of Deutsche Terenwagen Masters, which raced in a street circuit in Pudong. In 2012, Shanghai began hosting four hours of Shanghai as one round from the inaugural season of the FIA World Endurance Championship. The city also hosts the Shanghai Masters Tennis Tournament, which is part of ATP World Tour Masters 1000, as well as golf tournaments including the BMW Masters and WGC HSBC Champions. On 21 September 2017, Shanghai hosted a National Hockey League ice hockey exhibition game in an effort to increase fan interest for the 2017-18 NHL season. Environment, Parks and Resorts Shanghai has an extensive public park system. By 2018, the city had 300 parks, of which 281 had free admission, and the per capita park area was 8.2 meters. Some of the parks also have become popular tourist attractions due to their unique location, history, or architecture. The People's Square Park, located in the heart of downtown Shanghai, is especially well known for its proximity to other major landmarks in the city. Fuxing Park, located in the former French concession, features formal French-style gardens and is surrounded by high-end bars and cafes. Zhangshan Park in western central Shanghai is famous for its Monument of Chopin, the tallest statue dedicated to the composer in the world. Built in 1914 as Jessfield Park, it once contained the campus of St. John's University, Shanghai's first international college. Today, the park features Sakura and Peony Gardens and a 150-year-old Platanus, and it also serves as an interchange hub in the metro system. One of Shanghai's newer parks is the Zhujiaoui Park, which was built in 1999, on the former grounds of the Great Chinese Rubber Works Factory and the Emmy Recording Studio. The park has an artificial lake with a sky bridge running across the park. Shanghai Botanical Garden is located 12 kilometers southwest of the city center and was established in 1978. In 2011, the largest botanical garden in Shanghai, 
Shanghai Chen Shan Botanical Garden, opened in Songjiang District. Other notable parks in Shanghai include Lu Xuan Park, Century Park, Gukan Park, Gongqing Forest Park, and Jing'an Park. The Shanghai Disney Resort project was approved by the government on 4 November 2009 and opened in 2016. The $4.4 billion theme park and resort in Pudong features a castle that is the biggest among Disney's resorts. More than 11 million people visited the resort in its first year of operation. Air pollution. Air pollution in Shanghai is not as severe as in many other Chinese cities, but is still considered substantial by world standards. During the December 2013 Eastern China smog, air pollution rates reached between 23 and 31 times the international standard. On 6 December 2013, levels of PM2.5 particulate matter in Shanghai rose above 600 micrograms per cubic meter and in the surrounding area, above 700 micrograms per cubic meter. Levels of PM2.5 in Pudo district reached 726 micrograms per cubic meter. As a result, the Shanghai Municipal Education Commission received orders to suspend students' outdoor activities. Authorities pulled nearly one-third of government vehicles from the roads, while much construction work was halted. Most inbound flights were cancelled, and more than 50 flights at Pudong International Airport were diverted. On 23 January 2014, Yang Shang, the mayor of Shanghai, announced that three main measures would be taken to manage the air pollution in Shanghai, along with surrounding Anhui, Jiangsu, and Zhejiang provinces. The measures involved implementing the 2013 air cleaning program, establishing a linkage mechanism with the three surrounding provinces, and improving the city's early warning systems. On 12 February 2014, China's cabinet announced that a CN 10 billion yen fund will be set up to help companies meet the new environmental standards. The effect of the policy was significant. From 2013 to 2018, more than 3,000 treatment facilities for industrial waste gases were installed, and the city's annual smoke, nitrogen oxide, and sulfur dioxide emission decreased by 65%, 54%, and 95%, respectively. Environmental protection. Public awareness of the environment is growing, and the city is investing in a number of environmental protection projects. A 16-year rehabilitation of Suzhou Creek, which runs through the city, was finished in 2012, clearing the creek of barges and factories and removing 1.3 million cubic meters of sludge. Additionally, the government has moved almost all the factories within the city center to either the outskirts or other provinces, and provided incentives for transportation companies to invest in LPG buses and taxis. On 1 July 2019, Shanghai adopted a new garbage classification system that sorts out waste into residual waste, kitchen waste, recyclable waste, and hazardous waste. The wastes are collected by separate vehicles and sent to incineration plants, landfills, recycling centers, and hazardous waste disposal facilities, respectively. Media. Media in Shanghai covers newspapers, publisher, broadcast, television, and internet, with some media having influence over the country. In regard to foreign publications in Shanghai, Hartmut Walravens of the IFLA Newspapers section said that when the Japanese controlled Shanghai in the 1940s, it was very difficult to publish good papers, one either had to concentrate on emigration problems, or cooperate like the Chronicle. As of March 2020, newspapers publishing in Shanghai include Jifang Daily, Oriental Sports Daily, Shanghai Review of Books, Shanghai Daily, Shanghai Star, Xinmin Evening News, Wen Wei Bao, Wen Wei Book Review. Newspapers formerly published in Shanghai include Der Ostasiatisch Lloyd, Deutsche Shanghai Zeitung, Gelbi Post, North China Daily News, Shanghai Evening Post and Mercury, The Shanghai Gazette, Shanghai Jewish Chronicle, Shanghai Herald, The Shanghai Mercury, The Shanghai Post, Shanghai Times, Shen Bao, Israel's Messenger. The city's main broadcaster is Shanghai Media Group. International Relations. The city is the home of the New Development Bank, a multilateral development bank established by the BRICS states. Twin towns and sister cities. As of April 2020, Shanghai is twinned with the following regions, cities, and counties. Yokohama, Japan 1973. Osaka, Japan 1974. Milan, Italy 1979. Rotterdam, Netherlands 1979. San Francisco, United States 1979. Zagreb, Croatia 1980. Osaka Prefecture, Japan 1980.
Hong Hong, North Korea 1982. Metro Manila, Philippines 1983. Karachi, Pakistan 1984. Antwerp, Belgium 1984. Montreal, Canada 1985. Piraeus, Greece 1985. Pomeranian Voivodeship, Poland 1985. Chicago, United States 1985. Hamburg, Germany 1986. Casablanca, Morocco 1986. Marseille, France 1987. Sao Paulo, Brazil 1988. St. Petersburg, Russia 1988. Queensland, Australia 1989. Istanbul, Turkey 1989. Alexandria, Egypt 1992. Haifa, Israel 1993. Busan, South Korea 1993. Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam 1994 Port Vila, Vanuatu 1994 Dunedin, New Zealand 1994 Tashkent, Uzbekistan 1994 Porto, Portugal 1995 Prague, Czech Republic Aden, Yemen 1995 Windhoek, Namibia 1995 Santiago de Cuba, Cuba 1996 Rosario, Argentina 1997 Espoo, Finland 1998 Jalisco, Mexico 1998. Liverpool, United Kingdom 1999. Maputo, Mozambique 1999. Chiang Mai, Thailand 2000. Dubai, United Arab Emirates 2000. KwaZulu Natal, South Africa 2001. Guayaquil, Ecuador 2001. Valparaiso, Chile 2001. Barcelona, Spain 2001. Oslo, Norway 2001. Constanza, Romania 2002. Colombo, Sri Lanka 2003. Bratislava Region, Slovakia 2003. Central Denmark Region, Denmark 2003. Cork, Ireland 2005. East Java, Indonesia 2006. Baselstadt, Switzerland 2007. Phnom Penh, Cambodia 2008. Auvergne Rhone Alps, France 2008. Greater London, United Kingdom 2009. Salzburg, Austria 2009. Quebec, Canada 2011. Budapest, Hungary 2013. Mumbai, India 2014. Houston, United States 2015. Bangkok, Thailand 2016. Sofia, Bulgaria 2016. Belgrade, Serbia 2018. Lima, Peru 2018. Minsk, Belarus 2019.